In this problem, we're going to take, talk about a nice technique when using mass points called splitting masses. And this is a situation where we have a triangle, ABC, we have LK, L and K that are on um, uh, in A, B, and A, C, um, and then you draw in LK and an N over here. When you connect that up, you have, instead of your normal Chevian and a Chevian together to use mass points, we now have this line connecting two sides and then a Chevian in. And uh, this can be solved using normal mass points, but takes some time. And there's this nice theorem that says as long as we make this one, or actually this one as well, even though that's not my theorem, as long as you make those masses balance on N, then you can come up with, and I labeled them AC and AB, a mass here and a mass here that balances on L and K, and then you can add those two masses together to get your mass on A, and then proceed normally with mass points at that point. So let's show you how that works. You got triangle ABC. And D and E are on A, B, and A, C, respectively. Um, it's like, it's going to be more like this. And, and you're given that AB is 1, DB is 3, AE is 2, and EC is 4. And then you have this drawn in, and your segment drawn in like this. And you're told, we didn't actually get with these, um, you're told that this is F or T, and this is F, and then you're given that this is a angle bisector. And if that's an angle bisector, using the angle bisector theorem, BF and FC have to have the same ratio as the ratio of the two sides. And so that means this is 4A and this is 6A. So how do we split masses? Well, we start by balancing on B and C. And so we can give our mass here, B a mass of 6, and C a mass of 4, which means F has a mass of 10, by the way. Then we just go through and we um, find out our masses for everything else. And so we would let this have a mass of 18, because 6 times 3 um, equals 18 times 1. And then we would let this um, have a mass of 8 because 8 times 2 equals 4 times 4, which means this has a mass of 26. Um, also, we know this has a mass of 24, and this has a mass of 12. So now we can go through and find the um, ratios inside. If it's 20, we're just looking for AF to AT. Um, if A has a mass of 26, that means, and this is a little bit different, we we'll just do it this way first, AF to FT is going to equal 10 over 26. Remember, you do the opposite of the uh, masses, uh, so you can balance it out. Um, so 10 over 26, which simplifies to 5 over 13. And if that's 5 over 13, then AF to AT is simply 5 over 18. And that is a very nice method for solving that problem. Uh, DF to DE is very easy. It's just 1 to 2. Um, again, splitting masses, a really nice technique in work learning.